George Orwell, who was born as Eric Blair in 1903 in British India, has been a household name for decades, and for good reason. He was not only a novelist, essayist, journalist and critic, but also a visionary. This is most obvious in his last novel, 1984, which he finished in 1949, only months before his death in January 1950. In it, Orwell describes the life of his protagonist, Winston Smith, under a totalitarian and authoritarian regime. Even though it was written decades ago, the novel is still eerily relevant, as it describes a society where people's privacy is constantly invaded and surveillance is ubiquitous. Houses are equipped with so-called telescreens that are capable of two-way communication and pick up every sound and movement that the inhabitant of the house makes. Amazingly enough, since Orwell obviously tried to highlight the endless negative effects of a society of such a kind, it seems that many of our present-day power-hungry people use 1984 as some sort of manual. With the 2013 NSA surveillance scandal, revealing the secret monitoring and storing of global internet traffic by the United States' National Security Agency as a prime example. Interesting fact, sales of 1984 increased up to seven times within the first week of the surveillance leaks. So, whether you are looking for a blueprint for creating your very own totalitarian society, or whether you want a glimpse of what our world may look like if we let the power-hungry get their fill, look no further than Orwell's fantastic, scary, visionary, dystopian novel. So without further ado, I hope you very much enjoy, and get somewhat scared by, George Orwell's 1984.